Welcome friends, Sam Wise here with Jedi Bricks and today we have a Lego Lord of the Rings League special with brand new sets for 2024 and 2025. Also I am giving away a free Sauron minifigure and all you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel and comment down on this video. Baganda! So if you saw my last LEGO Lord of the Rings update, then you'll know that 2024 is a big year for fans of Middle Earth, with multiple new LEGO sets hitting the shelves and a brand new Lord of the Rings movie hitting the screens in December. And today we have the final leaks before we see full set images and some new information about the future of LEGO Lord of the Rings. First up, in the last 24 hours, we had new information regarding set 10333 LEGO Icons Barad Dur, which we now know has 5,471 pieces and is set to retail at 400 $150 and release on June 1st, 2024. We also now know that it includes 10 minifigures, with LEGO choosing a third age Return of the King lineup. So going through these minifigures, we already knew that it would include the first ever Dark Lord Sauron minifigure, who will appear in full armor. And it's interesting that LEGO has chosen to do this because this version of Sauron doesn't actually fit with all of the other minifigures inside this set. As we know, at the final battle of Return of the King, Sauron is only present as his fiery eye which is built into the top of Barad Dur. Still, I'm not complaining, the first ever Sauron minifigure is a big deal. We also have the Mouth of Sauron who has only ever been released once before back in 2013's Battle at the Black Gate. He is the Lieutenant of Barad Dur, a servant and herald of Sauron and it's cool to see him included because the old version of this minifigure sells for over $70. As I promised this set will also include a fell beast. Now we don't know if this is going to be its own Lego build or if it's going to be like the original Lord of the Rings eagles where you simply clip the wings onto a main body but personally i hope we do see something like a 200 piece buildable fell beast more like buildable tree beard from the original tower of orthanx set and another really important thing here is that fell beasts in lord of the rings are very rarely seen not being ridden by a ring wraith or a nazgul so it's very likely that we are going to be getting a nazgul minifigure inside this set that just isn't confirmed yet moving on to our heroes now where we have frodo baggins and samwise gamgee and these are two of my favorite characters but technically, Sam and Frodo never go to Barad Dur, so they don't really fit inside this set. I think a smart decision would have been to design this set around the Battle of the Last Alliance, with minifigures like Isildur, Elendil, Elrond, and Gil-galad. This way we could have had some elf, men, and orc armies, and the set would be accurate to a specific scene from in-universe. But we do also have Gollum included inside this set. Let's hunt some orc. But giving us the full 10 confirmed minifigures are two brown orcs and two green orcs. And getting a battle pack's worth of orcs is cool, but not really enough for $450. Give us eight to 10 orcs with a captain and some armor variations, and that would be more fitting for the $450 price point. Moving on to the build of Barad Dur, there are few locations as iconic as the Eye of Sauron's fortress in Mordor. And Lego are clearly basing this on the 2014 original Tower of Orthanc set, which clocked in at 2,350. 59 pieces, but with Barad Dur at 5,471 pieces, that's over double the part count, and Barad Dur should be about 90 centimeters tall and 50 centimeters wide. But where it really takes after the Tower of Orthanc is in the detailed interior, which will include a dungeon, an armory, a throne or entrance chamber, and a treasure room. Because of its huge scale and imposing build, Barad Dur is probably one of the most epic locations in Middle Earth, so it's going to be a challenge for LEGO to build something as good as this custom UCS set built by Unbrickable. There's a link in the description to a full video of their build, but the standout feature of the LEGO Icons build will be the Eye of Sauron at the top of the tower, and it'll be interesting to see how LEGO gives this its fiery look. And the tower will of course have rock work surrounding it with a walled gate at the base. And some of my favorite details from the original LEGO Lord of the Rings waves were things like the stickers and Easter eggs inside the Tower of Orthanc set, where we had the five Istari wizards on the walls of the library, along with their staffs of power, not to mention the light up Palantiri. So we can definitely expect a very iconic display piece with some really cool play features. But 10 minifigures and 5,500 pieces isn't really bad, but when you consider that Rivendell retailed at just $50 more than this Barad Dur set, and it came with 700 extra pieces and five more minifigures, all of which were unique, individual, detailed characters, Barad Dur does not look quite as good in terms of value and minifigures. Still, based on all of this 
information, Baradur should be a really high quality set. And with the UCS Jabba sale barge also coming later this year, Lego has some huge sets hitting the shelves. If you want to check out more about that sale barge, then you can check out my update for a full breakdown here. But before we get on to 2025 leaks and news, a quick reminder that we also have set 40751, a Lego Lass and Gimli Brickheads pack with 267 pieces, also releasing on June 1st. And while Brickheads don't really do it for true Lego Lord of the Rings fans, Lego has revived the theme with small sets like this. And these Brickheads have been growing on me. Look how epic the Balrog looks on display. Now, if you are a diehard Lego Lord of the Rings fan, then you can check out the full history of Lego Lord of the Rings in this video. But let's talk about the future now, because in my last update, I shared some really exciting news for 2025. I mentioned that a source had shared with me that Lego are planning to release more classic sets for Lord of the Rings and also discussing potential tie-ins with the new movie. So let's get into it. Starting off, any riders of the Rohirrim will know all about this, but on the 13th of December 2024, the War of the Rohirrim is set to release. This story is set 261 years before the Fellowship of the Ring and tells the tale of Helm Hammerhand, a legendary King of Rohan who must defend his kingdom against an army of Dunlendings. The very same king that Helm's Deep is actually named after. But it gets better because because not only are we likely to see a set for this new movie, but LEGO seems to be discussing a classic revival wave of LEGO Lord of the Rings releases, capturing scenes from the Peter Jackson movie trilogy. LEGO has seen how much of a loyal fandom there is with sets like the Brickheads, with Rivendell, and with the hype around the upcoming Baradur, and they are finally taking advantage of one of their greatest themes, all of which opens up doors to a lot of new possibilities, including the LEGO Lord of the Rings battle packs that I first mentioned over a year ago now. Since then, I have designed a Rohan battle pack and a Gondor battle pack for the new War of the Rohirrim movie because with familiar locations like Edoras and Gondor set to feature, along with guaranteed epic battles between the Rohirrim and the Dunlendings, LEGO are releasing at least one set for this new movie and with my most recent battle pack update at over a hundred thousand views, it's pretty clear that the fans want to see battle packs released. Now it's not all good news because I am also hearing that LEGO are discussing Rings of Power sets to tie in with Season two, but hey, maybe they'll turn out to be great Lego sets. And as a huge fan of the books, I'd love to see second age characters like Durin, Elendil, and Gil-galad in minifigure form. And let's face it, the Rings of Power needs anything it can get if it has any hope of surviving. So with sources at Lego sharing that they are discussing classic Lego Lord of the Rings set ideas, along with new sets for this new movie, the future is bright for Lego Lord of the Rings. We might just see those battle packs after all. And you heard it here first, that after over 10 years, the time has finally come for a LEGO Lord of the Rings revival. Also, a quick reminder that in May, I'll be building my Holy Grail sealed copy of UCS Revendell live on stream with you guys to celebrate reaching 10,000 subscribers. So stay tuned for more LEGO Lord of the Rings content and leaks. But let me know what you think of Baradur down in the comments. As soon as I know more about any of this, I will update you guys. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.